we want a training group down in Mexico. Uh, we call we call a subject matter we really study a lot. Call we call it endemics, basically. Endemics. Okay. Endemics. Basically, uh, before anything, you really need to realize who are the players in that specific wine hole. Right? So there's tigers, there's lions, there's bears. So it's very tribal in nature. Right. So when you get some sureños or some uh, some uh, barrio azteca guys or some Mexican mafia individuals, for example, in a bar. Uh, really knowing how to identify who they're from, what they're from, what their ink means. Uh, just like uh, some of the gangs utilize colors as well. Yeah. Uh, that's That just provides a small insight as far as the individuals there. Right? So I would suggest or advise people that might want to get into a preparation mode, really study their endemics. Right? Uh, just like just like utilizing chemicals, you realize that some chemicals don't mix. Yeah. So again, <laughs> again, you start seeing start seeing different colors, or you start seeing a, a, a honey badger with a wolverine in the same watering hole, and you start uh, getting some red lights. Uh, and, and further on, further on in observations as far as posture and or as far as concealed weapons. I mean. Uh, just, just the, the visibility of the hands is something that I always, I always focus on. I always tell people that uh, faces will smile at you, but hands will kill you. Right? Yeah. So, uh, one, one thing, one thing that is very big down in Mexico is actually blades. Uh, we have a lot of guns. We have a lot of narco style hits with AK-47s and stuff like that. But there's but the also average guy in the street would probably have a knife rather than a gun. Yeah. Right. So um, curling, curling their hand in a manner would, that you would actually pull a gun out. Have you ever seen how you build it? So what they're actually, sometimes you see some criminals doing is actually, they have a knife curled in that, into their clothes. So they're gonna grab onto you and actually stab you through their clothes. Or hiding a, a, a knife in a baseball cap. Or um, getting frisked at the door and putting their knife behind their cell phone as they're getting frisked. Mm -hmm. right? um, the, get, getting their weapons to the senorita they have, right? Because mm -hmm. They, 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 they're, they're smart. They, they spot the, the kinks of the armor. Yeah, we yeah, provide. yeah. Uh, so... Yeah, first lady would address them. Of course. Um, so, really, realistically, it's, it's about behavior. It's about posturing. It's about uh, identifying the species you're dealing with because they are, they're, 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 if they're animal-like, they usually have like, a species. So yeah. All of them have these, uh, all of them have a preference as weapons going as well. Uh, do a quick uh, Google search as far as it, uh, the uh, Mario Azteca guys. You'll see a pattern as far as the weapons appear. Okay. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. If you see a if you see a pattern of the uh, Mexican mafia guys, you see a pattern as far as what they or what they use or how they how they operate, uh, what colors they wear. Uh, what does uh, it's something very interesting down in Mexico? It's barely getting noticed up here now. Uh, the death cult, the Santa Muerte. Right? It's a religion down in Mexico where, where basically they, they, they made the, the reaper, the figure of death, their deity. So it's their intermediary, intermediary with God. So they have a color code and they wear necklaces uh, with colors on them. When you spot a guy wearing a red, ne red Santa Muerte rosary or necklace, it's a guy that's involved with money. He doesn't, he's on the business side. Right? That makes sense. And if you spot a guy that's wearing a black and red or black only rosary, he's a guy that's involved in the plomo side or the lead side. He's a guy that's actually a hired gun. Uh, if, you get, if you get a guy that's wearing a bunch of gold jewelry, uh, gold Santa Monica jewelry, he's involved in the business side. If you get a guy wearing a lot of silver jewelry, he's involved in the lead side. Small insights like that will really let you know who you're going to and it really is about just uh, going out there and studying. Yeah. Google, Google searching and stuff like that.